Hi again. Uh, today what we're going to do is go through some normal probability problems. Um, this particular one's on page 286 of the textbook. It's number 21. And the problem reads, um, the Mark 6 monorail used at Disney World and the Boeing 757-200ER uh, airliner have doors with height of 72 inches. So what percentage of adult men can fit through the doors uh, without bending? And it gives us in the top of the problem that uh, the distribution of men's heights is at least approximately normal with mean 69, standard deviation of 2.8. So what we do here is we define a random variable first. We let x be the height for a randomly selected male, and that's the way we want to start, and we want to write down what we know about its distribution. So x is normal, this is how we designate that it's normal, mean 69, standard deviation of 2.8. And what we want to find is the probability that x is less than or equal to 72. Okay? So since we know it's normal, we can go ahead and standardize it and then use our Z table in the back of our textbook. Um, so subtract the mean, divide by the standard deviation, and do that to both sides of the inequality. Since x was normal when I standardize it, here I get z, where z is a normal 0, 1 random variable, and over here I get 1.0714. Okay? If we're going to use our textbook, then we would just use 1.07, because when you look up z scores, the area to the left of z scores in your table in your textbook, um, you can only use up to two decimal places, so we'd use 1.07. If you look that up in your table in your textbook, you get 85.77, so we'd express it as a percentage, be 85.77%. Um, I'm going to skip to part D, and part D asks, what doorway height would allow 98% of adult men to fit without bending? So when you're doing percentile problems or cutoff problems, what we do is start with a normal 0, 1, so this is the normal 0, 1 curve is at 0, standard deviation of 1. And what we want to do is find this z cutoff such that 98% of the area is to the left of it. And what we would do is open up our textbook. And we're looking for areas here in the middle of, the, of it. And it looks like the closest the area is 0.9798. So that's 2.05. So this looks like at least approximately 2.05. And so what we would do is we'd use the relationship. We know that z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. Well, if we rearrange this equation, what we get is x is equal to, when you multiply those, you get z times sigma plus mu. So this is the equation you're going to want to remember anytime you're doing percentile type of problems. And so by plugging in, in our particular problem, the x cutoff is z, which is 2.05, times sigma, which is uh, 2.8, and we want to add mu, which is 69. And so this is 74.74. So if you just round to the nearest one in your textbook and go down, you get that. So this was the door height such that 98% of males will fit through the door. Um, you could also use StatCrunch to do this. And so we'll let the projector warm up for a second. And what I've done is gone ahead and brought up the StatCrunch page out of, uh, remember there's a link in your Moodle homepage to this. And so if I go to Stat, Calculators, and Normal, this is going to calculate normal probabilities and, and so forth. And so if we go back to the first one, um, if you put in a mean of 0, standard deviation of 1, and we want to find the area less than 1.07. That's 0.8577. This is essentially the number that we found using our table. Well, you could also, if you, if you wanted to be a little more exact in practice, you could go ahead and say that there's a mean of 69, standard deviation of 2.8, and we want to find the probability less than or equal to 72. So you could compute this. And notice that that probability is very close, but it's, it's a little bit different. And this, is, this would be a more exact probability 
because we didn't have to round the z-score in this case. The other one's a little bit off because of that. So be careful when you're using my stat lab because uh, I, I think that it might want you to use the table values. Um, so even though this might be more correct, be careful. Um, so when you do your homework and such, be careful about that. Um, to find the cutoff, we could go ahead and say that we have a mean of 69, a standard deviation of 2.8, and we could say we want to find the cutoff, so I'll hit delete there. We want to find the cutoff that has 98% of the area to the left of it. And what it does is give me that it's 74.75, which is very close to what we had. It's very close to what we had. Um, this would be more exact, but again, be careful, my stat lab may want you to use the, uh, the table values. So next time when we come back, we'll do some binomial, uh, normal approximation of the binomial uh, and some other things. So thank you.